JSTL stands for Java Standard Tag Library. It is a collection of tags from Sun Microsystems or Oracle, which will allow us to move the Java code out of a JSP page so that it will be easy even for a HTML designer to look at our page or make changes to our page. Even for us, we can reuse these tags across JSP pages where we need some particular reusable functionality. So to use JSTL, the tags within JSTL, we first copy two jars, the standard.jar and then the JSTL.jar available for download from Sun Microsystems and we copy it under WebINF lib folder of your web application. That's the first step. Second, add the tag lib directive. It is one of the directives available in JSPs and using the prefix and URI. Prefix can be anything. Here I'm using C and then URI is the unique URI for using the core tags available in the JSTL. So this URI as I'll explain you in when we create custom tags, is it uniquely identifies a particular tag library. JSTL has the core tags, it has SQL tags, XML tags, etc. But most of the times we as developers only use the core tags, which are very famous out there. So URI uniquely identifies the core tags for XML tags and SQL tags, it has a different URI. Third step is to use the tag themselves. Here I am using C colon out, the core library is out, which will print the values uh, which from, from a Java beam or a value using the expression language syntax. Here I'm using the JSP's dollar, which is expression language. Simply I'm printing four into five. This will display this on the browser without writing any Java code or using expression, JSP expression tags. You can similarly print the values, iterate through the values of a Java collection using C colon for each or C colon for and then display the various values without writing any Java code in your JSP page. That's the beauty of JSTL. When I do the custom tags where we create our own tags in the next presentation, you will see the internals of how this works. Behind each of these tags, there is a Java class and we tell the container when you hit this tag, this is the Java class you should execute in our tag lib descriptor file, which is a XML file, .tle file, which will be there in these jar files when JSTL provides. When, when we create our custom tags, we provide a TLD, etc., which we'll learn in the custom tag presentation. To quickly summarize, JSTL stands for Java Standard Tag Library. It provides us a few tags which are very powerful, which will allow us not to write a lot of Java code in our JSP pages, making them easy to maintain. We can simply use tags like this and then a lot of functionality behind the scenes will happen for us. So the steps are to copy two jars, jstl.jar, standard jar in the web by NF, download the current versions by Googling. Then the, you can also download it from my website when you download the appropriate project, you will get those jars. Then use the tag lib directive on the top of your JSP page. Prefix is whatever you want to use in your JSP, you can have D or whatever. Then the URI is a unique URI, each tag li library has a URI, you should use the exact URI because the container uses this URI to search and find the tag lib handler for it, which I'll be explaining in the next presentation. Then use the tag, you can display the values of Java beans, Java collections or even something hard coded like this, here I'm doing 4 into 5.